Hello, I hope y'all are doing well. Uh, this is going to be your, well, one of your general July readings. Um, I just started putting the month on the readings rather than specific time frames or specific dates, I should say. Uh, it just felt right to me, so that's what we're doing here, Leo, okay? Uh, any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below. I do not have personals open right now, so if you're going down there for that information, I don't have them open right now. Uh, you can join me over on Patreon, though, if you'd like. Um, I do offer additional content over there for each sign. Uh, I also read on TikTok, okay? So if you're interested in, um, you know, following me over there, there's a link down below to my TikTok page. And of course, if you're interested in learning the tarot, um, I have a course and you can purchase that course. Information is down below. Okay. Interesting. Already here, Leo. Ooh, I like that. I like it a lot. Don't like that. <laughs> Don't like that. Okay, let me see what's going on here. You have the Wheel of Fortune as your overall energy, though. So I like that that's showing up as your overall because uh, that's telling me that, you know, despite some of these energies here being heavy, things are going to turn around for the better for you, okay? Um, you do have the Four of Cups as your first card out here. Some of you could be feeling unappreciated or avoided. Um, you know, you're just in a little bit of a funk about something here that I feel you're not receiving or somebody's not receiving you very well. Uh, somebody could have moon and uh, their moon and cancer. What's going on with the four cups? Some of you keep feeling like one step forward, two steps back. It's like, well, I made progress here, but now, you know, now this happened, right? What is that about? What's that about? King of Swords. It's about a person. You got a court card here. It's about a person. Uh, this could be an Aquarius, okay? Um, Gemini, Libra. Virgo, Capricorn, Queen of Pentacles, more Capricorn energy, and Page of Cups. Okay, lots of court cards here. Uh, some of you just keep feeling like you're moving backwards with a person. Like you move forward a little bit and then you move back. Like somebody keeps investing basically is how this feels and then they're uninvested. Like that's, it's a, it's a weird energy. Seems like maybe there's a conversation that takes place. You're like, I don't really like this. I would like it if this could change or, you know, this is what I need. So can you give that to me or not? And then it's given to you for a little while and then it's back to the square one. You know, he's sitting at the trunk of that tree there. It's back to the beginning, um, you know, and there's this cold energy about a person, okay? Whether this has to do with how they're speaking to you or how they're not speaking to you or maybe it has to do with how affectionate they are. Uh, maybe it has to do with their lack of emotional intelligence with the page of cups here. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of reasons that you could be feeling neglected by this person. But basically, I think you're feeling neglected. Seven of Cups. Yeah, you're feeling like somebody's not seeing or hearing you. Five of Swords. It's putting you in your head. For a lot of you, it may be easier to end this. I feel like it's something that could just keep uh, getting worse here, okay? I think a person only changes for so long, basically. All right? And you don't want to have to keep begging for what it is that you need. So, uh, yeah, I, I think for some of you, you may end up going your separate ways here. You have the Page of Swords. Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the Hangman, Pisces energy, the Fool, Aquarian energy, and the Nine of uh, Wands. I don't know why I was going to say Swords. Um, the Nine of Wands here. Some of you, you could be a Sagittarius moon, but you don't have to be. Um, but, you know, the Page of Swords can be somebody who's very curious, observant, like uh, studying something basically, but there, it does, uh, you know, it can represent like a hesitancy and you do have the hangman here, which can be a little bit of like stagnancy, but there's also, you're, you're sacrificing yourself basically, uh, in the process here. I think you're hesitant to take a leap towards something new. Like you feel that something's on its way out the door. You have the nine of wands here. Like it's been wrapping up for a while now. And I think that, um, you know, you're just kind of watching it play out. And I think that you're waiting for something that can only be done by you, you know? Um, so yeah, that's an issue. I think you're sacrificing yourself. You're sacrificing a lot of new opportunities by staying in a situation that's not moving or by trying to force something, uh, you know, that's resisting you, okay? There's something out there that will just give instantly, all right? So yeah, keep that in mind. You know, what you want is out there. You don't have to try to fix what's right in front of you. You have the uh, Justice card here, Libra Energy. What's going on with Justice? Judgment, okay. <clears throat> so we have Scorpio and Aries here with uh, Judgment showing up. Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy, and the Magician, okay. Okay, uh, for a lot of you here, I also feel as if, um, you know, there's something that you're, that you're feeling called to do, 
uh, basically here, Leo. Like, there's something that you're feeling drawn to. Some of you, you could have had to do something um, because it was what's available. So this could be a job. Maybe you had to take a job because, like, well, that's what's available to me. What's going on here? But you don't feel called to it. You don't feel connected to it. I think that could be creating a lot of chaos in your life. And I think in the month of July, you're going to be realizing that. Three of Wands, you're going to be looking at your other options here, basically. Somebody could be an Aries Sun with some Leo's pla uh, Leo placements watching this. But basically, the magician showing up here, like you're analyzing your skills. You're like, what am I good at? Or you're looking around at, you know, maybe things in your home. And you're like, how can I use these things, you know, to create something that I feel a connection to, right? Uh, some of you, you may have a passion for music. Or you may have a passion for art. You know, there's something here that you just feel more drawn to, okay? So you're like, I'm going to strengthen that skill. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I'm going to strengthen that skill. And I'm going to use this instead of, you know, doing something all the time that I'm not connected to. So that's something else that I feel is taking place here. Like you are strengthening your skills. Um, you're trying to move towards something that you feel more of a connection to. Like your soul feels more of a connection to. Others of you, it's like you're trying to move towards something that's genuinely going to give back to you. Some of you are moving away from a um, Virgo or a Gemini. But yeah, with justice showing up here, that's balance, okay? It's like what I put in, I'm receiving back, right? So I think a lot of you, there's this realization that you have to release something here. Um, you have to release something. You have the full Aquarian energy. What's going on with the full? Ten of Wands. That's carrying a burden. Four of Pentacles. Clutching onto something here. Like I said, I, I you know, there was this like desperation in the beginning of the reading and that Four of Cups energy. Like, well, why does it keep changing? And then it goes back to the way that it was, right? That's what you're letting go of. Because that full card is like liberation. Like I, I can start fresh, right? And that Ten of Wands energy, like that's what you're shedding there is this burden. Um, you know, just putting in all this work, this inconsistency, this, you know, power struggle, whatever the case may be here, this Four of Pentacles. Like you try to hold on to that forever. And once you take this leap, you're like, gosh, why didn't I do that sooner? You know, uh, it's like there's this big shift that takes place for you. Um, and that's why the Wheel of Fortune is your overall energy because that's a shift for the better. You have the Eight of Wands here. There could be a lot of messages coming in for some of you. What's going on with that? Five of Cups. Okay, Mars and Scorpio. Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, there could be people who are a little bit disappointed with a decision you're making, whether that's to walk away from a job that's not fulfilling you or a person that's not fulfilling you. There could be people here who just feel like, oh my gosh, well, why didn't you just try it? Why didn't you just stay there until XYZ? Or why didn't you just try to work it out, right? Like you did. You did. Um, for those of you where it's a job, it's like uh, you had no, you, you didn't feel connected to it anymore, okay? So I don't know why people are inserting themselves in your business or uh, furthermore, why they feel like it's okay, but they, they do, okay? And that's something that's going on on here. Uh, yeah, you have the Emperor, Aries Energy. This could also be a boss who's just a little bit disappointed that you're uh, leaving a situation, like leaving a job or something of that nature. Like somebody really, for the most part, is just they, they don't want to take over what it is that you that you did here. Uh, for some of you, it's that. For others of you, like you genuinely added value to a place. They don't want to see you go. But, you know, I do feel as if it's, it's for the best and they understand why you're doing it. Some of you, you're building something for yourself here, um, that can be a little bit draining, you know, uh, watch how much you are, like pace yourself is what I feel like saying, eight of wands is fast movement, but five of cups, I feel like you could get burned out really quickly uh, with moving so fast towards this ten of pentacles, like you're going to get it, okay, calm down, you're going to get it, <laughs> like you have the uh, ten of pentacles and the emperor here, so a lot of you, you could be building a business, all right, um, but yeah, you know, you, you don't want to experience burnout with something that you feel passion towards, and it's definitely possible, okay, you have the Ten of Cups here, Mars and Pisces. What's going on with the Ten of Cups? Ace of Swords, Air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Six of Wands. My goodness, why are these cards wanting to come out of my hands? You have the uh, Strength card here, Leo Energy. I feel like there's a lot of excitement for you. I think that's what this is here. Like this, there's there's nothing like it, okay? there's There's literally nothing like it. You have the Ten of Pentacles here. You have the Ten of Cups. You have the Six of Wands. Like, this is victory, success, recognition, okay? Recognition. And remember in the beginning of the reading, you were just not feeling heard? Like, that's what I was getting, was that you were not feeling heard. Nothing you wanted was working out. And once you release that, things start to fall into place. Because you have the courage to go towards things now that are going to give back to you. And that's exactly what happens. Some of you, you could be afraid that if you leave a situation, you're not going to find something better. Or you're not going to be able to create something better. And that's not true. That's not true. Like, this is proof of it right here. If you go for it, you know, if you're in that emperor energy and you're determined to create it, you're absolutely 
absolutely going to have that Ten of Cups and this Six of Wands energy here. Um, so yeah, absolutely. That is success. The Ten of Cups is like however you define happiness, basically. Could be happy home, happy family, but it doesn't have to be, okay? That Ace of Swords, I feel, is a, a mental breakthrough for sure. Mental breakthrough, figuring out like this is what I need to get done, okay? You have uh, the Devil, Capricorn energy. Okay, and you have the star clarifying that. And it's not that this it's not that this healing journey happens overnight, you guys. You have the Ace of Pentacles right here uh, clarifying this. So it's like you're happy to go down a new path, but it's still going to, like, something, grief is going to hit in waves, basically. Yeah, you have the Three of Swords here. It's going to come in waves where it's like, yeah, I'm really excited for what lies ahead. I really wish that this could have worked out, you know. Uh, it's like you, you move back and forth between those two energies here. So uh, understand that that's normal, okay? That's normal. Um... Like this was bad for you, but you had like you had to leave it behind. But you can still grieve over what you wanted it to be, because that's exactly what's happening here. Like you're grieving over what you wanted it to be, and that's okay. And you're going to get over it, okay? You have the Star card here and the Ace of Pentacles. A lot of exciting things are coming. So, um, when you feel like you're too far in this Three of Swords energy, be sure to move into that Ace of Pentacles energy. Like seeing yourself in a better space, because it's going to happen for you. You have the Hermit here, Virgo energy. Two of Swords, Moon in Libra. Some of you are shutting a lot of people out. It could be these people who have too many opinions about the changes, the moves you're making here. You have the Three of Pentacles, Mars in Capricorn. People are like, why would you stop talking to such and such? Like, they're so upset. Why would you, you know, leave that job behind? That was such a good job. Your Uncle Steve got you that job, and he stuck his neck out for you. You know, there's that kind of energy here. I feel like you are just <laughs> moving away from that. You're like, I don't want to hear it, you know. Uh, hermit is like withdrawal, you know. And I also feel as if this withdrawal is not only necessary for your peace to, you know, stay away from these people, um, you know, at least for the time being, Um until they reach a level of acceptance because I feel like that will happen but for others of you it's like this withdrawal is also necessary um, you know because it's helping you to find that light it's helping you to find that courage to step into that emperor position and build that empire for yourself here but that uh, two of swords energy I feel as you protecting your heart space you know protecting your work the things that your your goals the things you're working towards basically the four of swords protecting your peace absolutely eight of swords Jupiter and Gemini on here for Leo with that. Seven of Wands, Knight of Swords, Mars and Leo, Gemini Energy, Eight of Wands. Oh, man, you guys. Yeah, um, I definitely feel like it's best to move in silence at this point in time with that moon card energy, Leo. Like, it just is, you know, because you have the Wheel of Fortune. That's Jupiter energy showing up on the bottom of the deck. Like I said, a change for the better, but then you have this nasty energy right behind it, the Nine of Wands, somebody looking at you like, why are you doing that? You know, why aren't you playing safe, right? That kind of vibe here. Eight of Swords, it's putting you all in your head. This is a Jupiter card too. This, like, but look at it. it you wouldn't think that it would represent anything uh, close to growth or expansion or good fortune, and that's because she's trapped in her head here, you know? And so I feel like you could be in a space where like, if you continue to connect with certain energies, if you don't protect yourself from what it is that they're throwing at you here, I'm not saying this is black magic or anything of that nature, but I do feel, Leo, like people are just throwing toxic energy at you, uh, you know, planting seeds of doubt, planting seeds of fear, basically, um, or guilt even. You know, and uh, with that Eight of Swords, it's like she could grow and expand uh, because the swords, they represent her mind. So all these limits exist within the mind, and it's because you're allowing other energies to plant them there. So please be careful with that, okay? You have the Seven of Wands right here. Protect your energy at all costs, okay? In the month of July, protect your energy at all costs, even if that means that you have to move in silence. The moon can represent hidden things, hidden paths, Eight of Wands, movement. If it takes you separating yourself from these individuals in order to get things done, then absolutely do what you have to do, okay? Um, Leo, feel free to watch out for your other signs, okay? Don't forget that I read on TikTok and I read on Patreon. So those links are down below if you're interested. And of course, if you'd like to learn how to read the tarot for yourself, I have a class for that, okay? So all that information is down there as well. But Leo, this is where we part. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting me. I really appreciate you. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.